Hello everyone, this is Big Mama Sag from Fire Sign Tarot. Capricorn, howdy neighbor, what's up? I apologize for the delay in your reading. I was going to do it when I got home from work last night, but I ended up putting in 11 and a half hours instead of just 10, so I was pretty whipped when I got home. So, we're going to hop into your reading and get it done today, and hopefully the rest of the cycle by the end of the day. Okay, Capricorn. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, through the end of the month, through the end of June. Capricorn, if this reading resonates with you, cool, go forth, do you, vibrate high, live your best life, take the message you're supposed to if you so choose, it is your free will to do so. If this reading does not resonate with you, it was not your reading, it was not your message, and we will try again next time. Wow. This is literally like as straightforward as it gets. Thank you so much. I don't even know if I'm going to have to clarify this. I, th I think, I think we're there. Okay. Capricorn for your energy. We have a seven of swords in the upright. It's. sneaky little devil card. It can represent secrets. It can represent planning something, not necessarily kosher. Um, the secrets being revealed. Secrets being made clear to you. Past energy could be recent, could be a long time ago. There's a disconnect. Hierophant in the reverse, possibly with a Taurus. Take it however it resonates. It's in reverse, so possibly a divorce. Possibly had an engagement planned and there was a falling out. Something I need to know to interpret this reading, Two of Cups Reversed. A disconnection with a soulmate. We definitely have a breakup scenario up here in the past regarding secrets coming out, someone sneaking around, possibly. The way could just be... An engagement that fell through. Either way, things did not go as planned, Capricorn. So, come down to the present. We have the death card. Could be a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. Take it however resonates. But it speaks of metamorphosis, change, death and rebirth. Resurrection. Blockage, Nine of Swords. This is keeping you up at night. It's bothering you still. This is my monsters in the closet, monsters under the bed, monsters in your head card. 
So, our emotions, negative or positive, invading our thoughts, invading our dreams. Knocking the wind out of our sails. Making us sit up at night and wonder, what did I do wrong? And the immediate future with the Nine of Pentacles. So, I do see you regaining your independence from whatever this was. Eight of Cups is the outcome, moving on, moving forward, being independent. But the Seven of Swords is still here. We're going to get some clarity on the present energy. Present energy in the blockage. Universe, what's this death card about? What's changing for Capricorn? What's changing for Capricorn? Wow, that was a great shuffle. That was ridiculous. For once, reversed. Lack of stability. The door is closing. A soulmate connection. The four of wands, they call it the twin flame 1111 card. And soulmate connection card. It's being blocked. It's coming to a close. It's coming to an end. Doors being slammed. Things changing. Situations. Disconnects. Capricorn. The universe has called for this to come to a close. Four of Pentacles, you're letting go. You're allowing it to end. Wow. Ace of Pentacles reversed. I don't think you are too happy about this. Temperance reversed. You. Possibly a Sagittarius. Could be a cusp person you're dealing with. This has you out of balance. Five of Swords, Conflict in the Shadows. I think you're very much trying to put on the face that you're okay, but I don't think you are. Speaking of conflict in the shadows, what's this Nine of Swords about? The blockage, it's, it's still keeping you up at night. If it's still keeping you up at night, as much as you'd love to be able to tell the world you're moving forward, you're not. Ace of Cups reversed. Are you giving up on love in general, Capricorn? Did this knock the wind out of your sails so bad? You're just done? Knight of Cups reverse. I am done with relationships. Screw that. I'm just going to be independent. Is this where you're at, Capricorn? 
Okay. I will be the first one to admit, and this is me speaking from personal experience, yeah, every time I got my heart broke for the first couple days, couple weeks, I was all like, this, I am done dating, I'm just gonna be a cat lady. I'm just gonna, you know, stock up on friskies and tidy cat and just be the cat lady in the neighborhood. But I'm a Sagittarius, so you get over it and you move on pretty quick, so. Capricorn, you can't do that to yourself, baby. I know it hurts. I get that, but those soulmate connections, there again, people come in and out of our lives, and when somebody leaves your life, they left to make room for the person that's supposed to be there. And again, baby, I know it hurts, but you gotta let go. Throw another card on that. Oh, Emperor Reverse. Oh, baby. You don't know how bad I just want to give you a hug right now and sit down and cry with you and binge watch some Netflix and eat cookie dough ice cream and drink beer. You don't know how bad I want to do this with you because I just feel so bad. Oh. Honey. Emperor Reverse. So this is like... The turtle is like all balled up in its little shell because the shell is cracked and you're so vulnerable. I want to cry right now. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you were just like... This is like as emotionally closed off as it gets. Hmm. You want to be in a bubble. I want to bubble up. Just wrap me in bubble wrap so it doesn't hurt. Oh, honey. Okay. Resurrection, judgment. Well, that's a good sign. You're going to regain your independence, but the judgment card says resurrection. Please tell me you're resurrecting the person you were before this happened and not trying to resurrect this relationship. Grant, do you. Do what you will. But... Nurse the broken heart for a minute. It's okay to withdraw and not be in relationship mode, but please do not start throwing band-aids on bullet wounds. Six of wands reversed. Okay. If you do try to resurrect the old relationship, I don't think it's going to go well. So just stay independent for a minute. High Priestess reversed. Listen to your intuition. Okay. I'm going to catch the energy of the person you're dealing with real fast. world reversed, really? 
Oh boy. Prince of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands upright, Nine of Wands upright, Princess of Pentacles upright, Justice upright, Son of a bitch. They love you. They did in the past. But they were stubborn. I have a Prince of Cups. And I have a Queen of Pentacles. And I have a World in Reverse. Which means, yes, they did have emotions for you. Yes, they did express them. But they were stubborn. They had a little independent streak about them themselves. I'm catching... I'm getting this feeling... They didn't want it to end the way it did. Star card. Could be an Aquarius. You made their dreams come true. You were like a dream come true for them. Death card. Possibly a Scorpio, but... You caused them to change. It's interesting. You caused a change in them. There you are, Capricorn. You're showing up in their energy. The devil. Wow, that's deep. They were either with, already with someone else or they weren't quite over someone else. They had something they had to clean up. If that makes sense. Something wasn't quite finished. Down here in the present... Four of Wands in the upright. Stability. 11-11 soulmate connection. Stability. Doors opening. What's this about? What's this about? Six of Swords, not moving on. King of Pentacles reversed. Five of Wands reversed. I'm going to put it at the end of the conflict. I don't want to move on. They don't want to fight. They don't want to end this. But they're guarded. They're guarded. They want time.
Okay. They're struggling with this internally. Yep. There's that Seven of Swords again. They left a mess behind. And they're still trying to clean it up. They do have deep emotion for you, but they are bound to someone else. If that makes any kind of sense to anybody. They want to be with you, but they can't. Princess of Pentacles. Jumper. Jumper and a two for Prince of Wands and an Eight of Cups, both reversed. Okay. So they don't want to move on. They don't plan on moving on, but they got to take it slow. They want to make a slow return. They have to clean up their mess. I just keep hearing they have to clean up their mess. So what I'm gathering, Capricorn, is you're going to try to move on and they're going to try to come back. Justice card for the outcome for their energy. They want to attain balance. They're fighting this coming to an end. Throw one more card on that. And we're going to grab your shared energy. This is getting... Just when I thought this was going to be easy, this just got crazy. Princess of Cups. They're not expressing love. They can't express love. Ace of Cups. No new start in love. King of Wands. What is it with the sex, 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 and the passion, and the action? No victory. Again, with the no victory. They're very, they are, wow, they are fighting an internal battle. Wow. It's like they want you, but they can't have you. They're going to chase you. I'm not seeing the outcome being victorious here, Capricorn, if they try to chase you. I think you, you, you have slammed the door. <sighs> Done. Mm hmm done you ripped out my soul i'm done mm. this is this is what i'm feeling and a three of wands at the bottom of your deck or at the bottom of their deck three of wands they're gonna wait for you i guess it's up to you how long you make them wait <laughs> 
I don't know. I just read the cards. Grab your shared energy. Nave of Cups in reverse. No exchanges of love. Seven of Cups reversed. Confusion. Chariot. Reversed. Not moving forward. Drained. Current energy. You guys, This is draining the crap out of you guys. Blockage. Devil card. You're bound. You're bound. This, this is a binding connection. You are very much in each other's energies and to the point of being toxic. Outcome. I think you guys are eventually going to talk. But. Lover's card reversed. I, I'm sorry Capricorn. I don't see this working out. Um, Capricorn, Crosswatcher, whoever I need to apologize to at this point. Um. I think you guys are just so drained at this point, and this has just been so dramatic. This is like, uh, it's coming at me like a million miles an hour right now. Emperor in the upright at the bottom of the deck. You're closed off to each other. You're connected and you're bound, but you're closed off. Possibly new communication coming in in the future, but the dust needs to settle here. There's just a lot of conflict. Okay. Pull an oracle. Because I'm... Literally trying to fight off an anxiety attack right now. Just when I think you guys are going to give me an easy reading. Gosh. Capricorn, I love you. But why you got to be so complicated? <sighs> Blessed. Yes, please. You are moving toward a deepening of intimacy and a unique and sacred relationship. You know you are meant to make this connection, this union blessed by the divine, will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sight that, even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Okay. The oracle is wiser than me. So, mm. take that however it resonates. Mm. I just read the cards. Who knows what could happen after the dust settles? Whoa, we got a twofer. Okay. Guarded and protected. Thank you for protecting... Uh, thank you for protecting my loved ones and me. Ensuring that we're safe. And that all of our needs are met. I now accept your hope. Ooh, pardon me. Gratefully and gracefully knowing that it's right for me. And all others to accept heavenly assistance. Make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. Capricorn, this is what we have for you. I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but I'm sure you're out there because otherwise the cards wouldn't have laid out the way they did. But just know that you're loved. Be blessed, and we will catch you in July. Namaste.